Hey folks, it's Antar, and I'm back with my battle number 47 against uh, Imbert12, who you may or may not remember knocked me out of uh, the Pokemon Master 14's uh, tournament. Anyway, I'm using the same team I used against him the last time, and he's using a different team that he used in a different tournament, um, which was two OUs, two UUs, two NUs, I think. Um, anyway, so I don't know if this is necessarily the fairest matchup, but it is what it is. So anyway, I start off with Stella, and I'm going to go ahead and um, Brave Bird him. I'm just not sure. I've never seen Magmortar. Um, I don't really see Magmortar too much, and I really have no idea what he's going to do. Anyway, Brave Bird does not take him out in one hit, but it comes really, really close. Um, that's kind of a shame. Um, but I got hit by a huge amount of recoil, plus the life orb damage. Um, yeah, I've, take, I've since taken that life orb off. The reason I put that life orb on to begin with was so I could enter that uh, the Pokemon Master 14's tournament because he has item claws. Um, but uh, I forgot that Stella can carry Black Sludge, which is the same thing as Leftovers. Uh, so anyway, uh, Stella is down, and I'm sending out Tux in instead. Uh, Tux has a Focus Sash, so no matter what he does, I'm not particularly scared. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and set up. Um, Thunderbolt does not take me out um, or get me down to the uh, to the Focus Sash threshold, so I'm able to set up with Stealth Rock, uh, which is going to help me later in the battle. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and finish him off with Aqua Jet. Um, so go, Tux goes ahead and uses Aqua Jet. I'm pretty grateful he didn't switch out, and I've taken out his Mag Mortar. So uh, that, as they say, is that. A um, little delay while Mag Mortar faints. And uh, he sends out for his next Pokemon, uh, Jolteon. So, you know, Jolteon's probably going to use an Electric-type attack, and uh, I want to save Tux for later, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Fupaloop, my Mamoswine, who will be able to take any Electric-type attacks. Um, this is assuming that he's not predicting my switch and, uh, you know, has something else in mind. Um, you know, I do this move quite a lot, and it's pretty effective. Um, but uh, as you can see, it, you know, he did not predict my switch, uh, and so I am good. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit him with Earthquake. I don't think he's going to switch out himself, but I don't actually know. Actually, we know that's right. That's right. I think he is going to switch out. So um, I instead do Rock Slide because I figure, you know, it's pretty obvious what I'm going to do at this point, so he would be stupid not to switch out. So he does switch out, and I predicted that switch so well, he sends out Dragonite, um, who, you know, wouldn't have taken an Earthquake, but instead is going to take a super effective Rock Slide, which, boosted by my Choice Band, is enough to take it out. So I've taken out his Dragonite before his Dragonite's even had a chance to attack. So tough break, uh, tough break, Invert 12, um, but oh well, that's how the cookie crumbles. He sends out Venomoth. Um, and so I'm like, oh, well, I can just keep on using Rock Slide. Uh, works for me. Um, he goes ahead and uses Sleep Powder, and he's faster, so uh, Poopa Loop is put to sleep. Oh, well. So I'm going to have to switch that, uh, switch him out. Um, actually, no, that's not true. I decide to keep him in because I figure, what's, what's he going to do that's going to hurt me? And so turns out he's going to use Bug Buzz, which does a whole lot of damage thanks to his Life Orb. I didn't really think that... Um, Venomoth had that uh, much attacking power, but anyway, at this point I got to switch out. I almost switched to Mick to wake him up, but that would have been a stupid move. Um, stab, uh, super effective Bug Buzz, might have even taken out Mick in a single hit. But luckily I um, thought better of it and switched to Pazuzu, who will resist the hit. Of course, um, I didn't know um, until I looked it up later, um, based on how hard that hit. Venomoth has um, Tinted Lens, or most likely has Tinted Lens. So uh, not very effective is the same as regular effectiveness. Um, so I consider what to do to kill him, and I decide I'm going to go with Heat Wave, um, because it should be able to take him out. Um, I guess I'm still deciding. Okay, there we go. Now I've decided to use Heat Wave. He goes ahead and uses Bug Buzz again, which, as you can see, is doing a massive amount of damage. Um, so, hats off to you. Um, anyway, I go ahead and use Heat Wave, and it uh, hits him and takes him out. And um, so that's good for me. Uh, I've never been swept by a Venomoth before, and uh, I'd rather not have that happen again. Anyway, he sends in Registeel, so I'm like, ah, oh, shoot. He's going to explode or something ugly like that, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with Heat Wave. Um, no, no, that's not true. I go ahead and roost. Uh, I roost because I, um, I figure he's going to explode, and if I have any hope of surviving, I need full HP. Um, 
he has, he goes ahead and uses Thunder Wave, which I was not predicting. You know, Registeel doesn't just explode, as I should have learned by this point. Um, Thunder Wave was an excellent move on his part, and so now I'm forced to switch out um, because that's just no good for me. Uh, so I switch into Mick, um, who is going to be able to uh, cure both of my um, damaged Pokemon of their status abilities. Um, both of my sleeping Pokemon will wake up and um, Pazuzu will stop being paralyzed. Um, and Mick is, I, I believe, faster. Yep, Mick is faster. Um, Registeel, there aren't too many Pokemon slower than Registeel. Um, and so I'm pretty happy here. And then he goes ahead and uses Explosion, uh, which, you know, not too many Pokemon can survive an Explosion, but Mick does, because Mick is awesome. Time and time, I, I keep on having proved to me Mick is awesome. Uh, I really am glad I switched to that Umbreon uh, on this team because he's just done so well. So anyway, he sends out Hitmonlee. Not something I'm going to stick in for, especially with so little HP left. I really wish Stella were still alive, but, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. I'm going to go ahead and send out um, Zapdos, um, who's going to resist uh, any fighting-type moves. Um, I guess... He should have predicted that, um, but whatever, that's okay by me. So he goes ahead and uses close combat, which is actually good, better for me than it is for him because it's going to lower his defenses um, while it's not going to do too much damage to me. So I'm pretty happy about that, and I'm going to go ahead and use Heat Wave, um, thinking that he might switch out to Volt Absorb Jolteon, who's his last remaining Pokemon. Um, instead, he goes for an Endure, um, I'm not sure why, why, I'm not sure what his strategy was with Hitmonlee, uh, and I never did find out, um, but oh well. Uh, so Hitmonlee, uh, so Heat Wave does not want to hit K, uh, does not, uh, take him down to the Endure level, um, so he goes ahead and uses Endure again, but it's very unlikely, or I guess it's like 50% likely that Endure will succeed a second time. I get the crit, but, you know, that's not exactly a real crit, it didn't, you know, really matter. Um, so I take out Hitmonlee, and now he's down to his last Pokemon. Um, so, as Jolteon, I'm pretty sure I can just stop, you know, whatever he dishes out, I can, I can take. Uh, I've got pretty high HP, Heat Wave is gonna keep doing damage, and, you know, he goes ahead and uses Shadow Ball, um, he would have been better off using Thunderbolt, um, I guess he was wait hoping my defenses would drop, um, but Thunderbolt is neutral just as, uh, Shadow Ball is. Uh, and it would have gotten the stab, um, and has higher base power, I think. Anyway, so I'm going to take him out, except for, um, you know, I'm not predicting this Thunderbolt's going to be able to kill me, except for he gets the crit, uh, and that did matter. So uh, Pazuzu is taken down, um, but I've still got, you know, a whole bunch of Pokemon to choose from, and his Jolteon is down to its last leg. So I have two Pokemon that can use priority moves, plus Jirachi, who can outrun him with the Choice Scarf. So I go ahead and send out Foopaloop to go ahead and use priority Ice Shard, just why the heck not. Um, Foopaloop uses Ice Shard, takes out Jolteon uh, with a crit that didn't matter, uh, and I've won the match. So, um, again, this wasn't exactly fair because, as I said, I, you know, I'm using six OU level Pokemon, and he's uh, hampered by some tournament rules, so it wasn't exactly fair, but anyway... Hope you enjoyed the match. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.